So in a previous video that you can watch by clicking here or maybe here or possibly down here, we demonstrated how to install the AirNode software in any of the shell device that supports OpenWRT. Once we have completed the installation in a device like this, any AirNode operator could provide extended coverage by meshing together AirNode enabled devices, or different AirNode operators could collaborate and share one backhole endpoint by connecting different AirNodes to it. This means utilizing shared spectrum and by deploying low cost mobile based stations with the world mobile sharing economy, the AirNode operators will be creating a new type of mobile network. There's another special thing about today's video. I want to introduce to you a new type of AirNode, AirNode with cellular capabilities. From 2G to 4G, this device can extend the connection two to three kilometers away from the site. And we do that by utilizing shared spectrum, which has virtually no spectrum cost. Therefore, it reduces the cost of connectivity for the end user. As an AirNode operator, potential revenue streams will come from providing both Wi-Fi and cellular access to the subscribers. They could be from World Mobile or any other operator roaming through the AirNode. This means that any user, by using their own SIM card from other mobile network operators, can connect to the AirNode. Moreover, in the spirit of a more optimal rollout, we will reach agreements with other mobile network operators to act as a neutral host and extend their ranges. All this means extra sources of revenue that through the whole mobile chain will go to the AirNode operators. And that's it.